Hey everyone, welcome back. Hope you're having a good Thursday as I bump the camera like uh, like I don't know, have a clue what I'm doing here. Anyway, today is flea market finds. We're going to have several installments from my Kentucky trip because we stopped at two different flea markets, one in Indiana and one in Kentucky. Both of them had a lot of great selection and almost all of its, uh, the first couple installments are going to be almost entirely NASCAR die cast. Then we'll eventually dive into the, the card portion of it, again, which I'm pretty happy with my purchases there. So we'll go ahead and I'll show you a couple of the programs that I got. The first one is from 1974. These are actually both from 1974, but I thought this was really cool. Uh, 1974 Talladega 500 with Richard Brooks on the covers. He won the race in 1973, and there you see his Crawford Enterprises Dodge that he won his one and only career race with. There's a Pepsi ad on the back with Tiny Lund. And this is going to look a little bit oblong just because of the way I have to, to hold it here. Wow, Red Farmer celebrating 25 years in racing. So Red Farmer was only racing 25 years at that point. We'll zoom in here and let you guys get a picture of the little caption there with Red and his family. So that's pretty amazing. Red Farmer had only been racing for 25 years at that point. And he's uh, still going strong here in 2022. He was in uh, the hospital for a brief period of time with double pneumonia. But he is now out and doing better. Just all sorts of articles. Here's like the NASCAR, all the officials and all the folks that work for them. Just different pictures of action in the pits. Is that a Martinsville ad? Um, no, that's actually a Darlington ad. Got color pictures of all the drivers from this period of time. There's Richard Childress, current car owner. Of course, a lot of these I haven't had a chance to go through. I want to read about all these different drivers. And then somebody actually wrote the uh, qualifying speeds for everybody. So that's a pretty nice little history there. So thank you, whoever did that back in the day and AJ Foyt a uh, little article about him so a little bit of everything there from the 1974 Talladega 500 program like I said the second one was from 1974 as well it is the Nashville 420 program with Cale Yarbrough, Richard Petty, Buddy Baker and Bobby Allison on the front cover I could probably get three of these four guys to sign this and that'd be pretty cool again tiny Lun Pepsi ad on the back and this is much going to be like the Dar or the Talladega one it's just going to have some random articles. I've not really had a chance to go through this, so you're seeing a lot of the stuff the same as me for the first time. Jackie Rogers could be Rookie of the Year. There's a nice uh, Richard Petty five-time Daytona 500 champion. Kind of a, not a poster, but a, uh, there's a, for a poster only for $2, you would get this poster perhaps. I don't know. Or is that a pull-out poster? No, it's not. It's just a regular ad and again just more of the drivers same pictures nascar official and, and and folks information there so very very cool can't wait to deep dive into those learn a little bit about some uh more finite more granular parts of the history of the sport now we'll get into a part of the die cast portion i know you guys like this part and this is from two, the two different flea markets that we stopped at <clears throat> bought a few of these at the first flea market had a pretty good price and they're from 1997 and they're the little bitty uh they're still the 164th but the way that they're boxed uh racing champions kind of went a different direction with some some of their packaging this is randy lajoy he is the 95 and 96 bush series champion or no i'm sorry 96 and 97 because benson was 95 96 and 97 bush series champion we have the 1984-96 Cup Series champion, Terry Labonte. I got two more of these. We've got the uh, close call Ford that Brett Bodine ran for most of 97 before peeling the decals off at the fall Dover race for non-payment and breach of contract, etc., etc. And our last one of these is Phil Parsons, the Bush Series car that he ran in the late 90s there, Channel Lock car. I think Phil, he could have done a lot better in the Bush Series if he just had a little bit more stable sponsors and had a little bit better luck. He got bitten by a lot of just dumb luck over the years. 
Of course, the rest of these are 164 scale. This is a Jeff Gordon action, Baby Ruth. So it's the 1992 Bush series. There's the information on it. There's the back of the packaging. Action was one of the higher end die cast companies back in the day. We have a Dale Jr. This is the car he ran in Japan. First time he ran against his dad in a NASCAR race. We see it. 1998 Monte Carlo, the polar bear, Coca Cola polar bear. Show you the back of the packaging there. Very cool. Of course, the backs of these packages, I just now realized both of those actions are card number one. Did not plan that. We have a 1 187th, or I'm sorry, 1 144th scale of Jeff Gordon. This is a 97 preview edition. I don't believe Gordon had any die cast in the regular release from 97, just the preview, because he became uh, action RCCA exclusive. Up next is a 1994 Shauna Robinson Polaroid Chevy. This car was owned by former driver in the Bush Series, Ed Faree. And in the third race, or fourth race in 1994, Shauna scored her only career pole position in Atlanta, <clears throat> which would end up being Harry Gant's final win in the Bush Series. Of course, Danica has went on to become the second woman to win a pole, and now the at the time nationwide now xfinity series but still a pretty cool piece of nascar history there okay another 144 scale car this one is from 1998 of jerry nadu in fact color scheme looks familiar it is because it is a miami dolphins themed paint scheme with the number 13 in honor of dan marino who was one of the co-owners of that team with bill elliott <clears throat> up next Kind of working on this set, kind of not. Just when I see these cars, I get them. Easy off racing, wreck it and Coleman. I know I've got the wool light car, and I think I have the French's car of this. be kind of cool to end up with all of the cars. And there's the different cars there on the back. you got the black flag, the French's, the golf light, the wool light, and the easy off. I couldn't tell you what races Harry ran these paint schemes in because it's been many, many moons ago. Picked up one of these, the Earnhardt Olympic. This was Ravel. They had a license for Earnhardt for a couple of years, 95, maybe 96, but this was the car that he ran in the 1996 All-Star Race. Actually picked up two of them. Here's the back of the packaging. And I thought that the, the condition on that cardboard was just outstanding. They had it for a really nice price, so I had to pick it up. And it looks like we have one more car to go in this. <clears throat> paid just a little bit more than what I wanted to, a little bit over normal retail, but I hadn't seen this one out, and it is a uh, Lionel Racing from 2018, Courtney Force. So, uh, funny car driver, daughter of John Force. Can't remember, is she, is she the one that's married to Graham Rahal or not? I get, there's three Force girls, Ashley, Brittany, and Courtney, and I can't remember who's who and who's with who and who races what and etc. etc. But that's our first little batch of flea market finds. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Had a lot of interesting die casts there. Got some more coming up, which I'll share with you here in a few days once I get that prepped and ready to go. We'll definitely look into the cards um, I'm excited about going through the baseball and the racing card albums more in depth. I I'm, I'm went through the racing album uh, fairly thoroughly uh, when we were at the motel the first night and was really, really happy with my purchase, and I think you guys will be as well. So anyway, thanks again for watching. Enjoy the rest of your Thursday. Make sure you hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and come back and see us tomorrow. Thanks for watching. Enjoy the rest of your Thursday.